So, Roger, what, what do you think about politics at the moment? Well, uh, not a great deal. I, I did vote in the end, and I did tell the MP last January to come in to see me. I said, uh, well, sir, I said, I'm sorry, but I said, I have voted all my life. But I said, at the moment, how I feel, I wouldn't bother to put the petrol in the car to vote for any of you. I said, you're more the disgrace to the country. I said, I said, uh, you say about this, say about that, and none of it you carry out. Uh, what, what's annoying you at the moment the most? Well, this cider tax is far too high. Just like I told him. I said, you see that orchard out there, my son? I said, that's my own orchard, my own apples. I make my own cider. I drink my own cider. And I got to give you £2.20 a gallon tax. I said, it's far too high. I said, I can understand you taxing factory cider, can cider, bottle cider, so I said that is not cider at all, it's just glucosate, that eat sugar water, but I said traditional cider comes from the ground, from the earth, I said it's an agricultural lubricant or an agricultural wine for the working man, and I said you are robbing the working man now. And what's, what's your opinion on Europe? Well, should we stay in or should we go out? We never ought to have went in, I don't reckon. What, why, why, why do you think? Well, the trouble is they keep on about all the, the exports and imports, but there's no way you can keep running a country when you are importing more than you are exporting. Uh, if they people want our stuff out abroad, they'll buy it. If they don't, well, they leave it where it is too. And, uh, but uh, it's costing far too much money. And we're an island, and we should have stayed on our own. So, um, what, so do you think we should come out then? I reckon we should come out. I notice we're going to lose a lot, but the first loss, best loss. That's what my grandfather always told me. What was his granddad called? Tom Stevens. And he told me when I was 15 years of age, he said, my son, I shan't live to see it. But he said, I'll tell you now, the man with the suit and collar and tie will bankrupt this country. And he's not far out. Right.
Price rods. What's the um, crop like this year, Roger? Um, way above average. Okay. Good, good crop. Why, why is that? Well, last year there weren't so many, look, so it is only nature's way. Um, if you get a bad crop, like last year, I only had about three ton up in that orchard up there. Yeah. Up in the hill, and I expect this year it's 20 ton up there. And ha how long are you cider making for? From now to Christmas. Right, okay. Start beginning in September. Yep. And then we go right through to, well, we're lucky this year to finish at Christmas, I reckon, this year, for the blood of Okay, so you're constantly out on the TV. Have you had any TV um, appearances this year, or has it gone a bit quiet? No, not yet, I don't think. Uh, I were in the Independent the other day, one of your mates coming in for the picture. Oh, yeah, his name's Matt Card. He's very Matt good photographer. He uh, took he took the picture of the glass we tore in the moon. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah. So that went, that went everywhere. Ah, yeah. So, um, yeah, he said he had a really nice time coming down here. I haven't seen the picture, but they said in the Independent, um, I was talking to a vicar, or he's seen it in there, and he told me about it. Right. And he said you were carrying a bag of apples out of the orchard down through the gate onto the road. Oh, OK. Like yeah. What newspaper do you normally buy? <laughs> Sorry? Do you buy any newspapers? Yeah, Western Daily Press. <laughs> and not Independent and Times. <laughs> that's, that's above my standard.